be a champion. One of the key factors that's attributed to my driving life is that my mother's always encouraged me to be a champion. With her name being Beatrice and people calling her B for short, the idea of be a champion is not only a play on words, but also a gift to her for her continued encouragement and inspiration. When I began writing the song, I thought of many of our international African sporting champions, those from the past and those in the present. Athletes such as Tony Yeboa, Azuma Nelson, Asam Wajan, and those in the diaspora such as Anthony Joshua. I had always intended for the chorus to be sung by Tiggs the author, an artist whom I had initially signed to my first record label as he is what I believe to be the perfect blend between African and British soulful influence. I first met Idris Elba over 10 years ago when I was just coming up on the music scene and he was a breakthrough star on the show The Wire. We hung out in New York a few times and spoke about working together at some point. Although he made a cameo appearance on one of my earlier EPs back in 2007, we eventually lost contact until a good mutual friend of ours bumped into him years later and I was mentioned in their conversation. She reconnected us as he was doing a lot more music and I was doing a lot more music production. A few inspiring conversations between us led to me flying out to his studio in France to make some music. I decided to take Tiggs the author with me on that trip as I had a feeling we could come up with a great vibe together. This studio had a boxing ring, which upon entrance reminded me of my unfinished Be A Champion track. I was here, Tiggs was here, and it would be great to have another feature on the record. So after we had created a song together called One Fine Day, I began recording Tiggs' vocals for Be A Champion and asked Idris if he would have a go at a vocal too. Idris literally freestyled the song vocal and was like, nah, I'll leave this to you guys. I don't think he heard what I heard in that moment. I took the vocals away and edited the freestyle into a verse to add the perfect balance to the record. Everybody was into the record. Thinking back to when I was creating the initial sketch, I really wanted to give this track an authentic West African highlight feel. I recalled that one of my mum's favorite bands is Ossie Bissa. And so I did some research and came across the legendary guitarist Kerry Bannerman, who was also part of the band. I added him to the song and it lifted it tenfold. Once I recorded the horns and the vocals, I still felt like there was something missing. And so I recorded some live percussions and reached out to Ghana-based producer Mike Kwesi to see if he could add some additional drum programming. This would give the track even more of a vibe. Now the track was near enough complete until I decided to take my two sons, whom I often refer to as champions, to the studio for a day. Despite them only being two and five years old at the time, they added their own unique elements to the percussion. And there we have it, be a champion.